Hey Silva, it's Robert Plank. Thanks for writing in. So you said that you want to make a short book to help those looking after family members who have been diagnosed with dementia or Alzheimer's. So, I mean, let's sort of look and see what the uh, internet tells us, see what our competitors tell us. Because I don't know, like I think this is something people want to know, but again, I'm not sure if people are looking for a book on this exact subject. So there's one way to find out. So we're going to search... Uh, dementia in one and we're going to search Alzheimer's in one and we're going to, going to see like what's the most popular uh, sort of books on Amazon what are people looking for and all that good stuff so it looks like first of all this 36 hour day this must be like the book about it because I mean there's tons of reviews so let me open up that dementia care and caregiver stuff so I like that the stuff about uh, caregivers especially seems to be getting a lot of reviews and I mean there's all kinds of stuff on here so that it might be uh, a little competitive but it looks like there are definitely um, some sales and some reviews on this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at a few things here because to be honest I don't know a lot about this sort of subject so dementia um, how to find out if they have it the symptoms uh, independent living, daily care, medical problems, behavioral problems, uh, symptoms that could be changes in mood, arrangements on death, outside help. So, geez, all kinds of stuff. So, and like everything from getting in the nursing home. So, I guess what we could say is that this book could be great, but it's a lot of stuff, right? It's a big, thick, honking book. So, what if we provided uh, similar information, but just kind of more more packed out, more concise. And let me look also. So it looks like there are very few bad reviews, but let me look at those. So, so someone left a bad review just because they wish they had uh, found the book before. So that's that's not very fair, but whatever. Um. It almost reads word for word. They descend back into infancy, just okay, repetitious. So that's what, yeah, that's sort of what we're seeing is that it's repetitive and long-winded. So we need to have the information people need, but in a short uh, little package. So um, I'm going to, if I can find where I started my mind map. Okay, so we're going to have like a caregiver's book for Alzheimer's and dementia, um, you know, family members or and patients or something. Okay, so uh, like what are the symptoms of dementia? Uh, what are the symptoms, tests of dementia and Alzheimer's and how... Uh, can I find out if I have it or if a family member has it? So what I'm looking for is I'm looking at the competitors and I'm looking for 10 sort of decent sized questions uh, that we can answer. So we're not just going to ask, you know, like, what is dementia? Uh, but we could like unpack, you know, the the long term problems, the uh, initial signs, the things you're going to need to know. Uh, but you, you know what I mean? Like we want to have some meat on the bone there. So medical treatment, the nurse, uh, and problems, the have loss of sense of time. And so I'm seeing just sort of, you know, how can we compact a few of these chapters together? And so it's like, well, what sort of things do I need to know ahead of time, right? What do I need to know uh, when carrying uh, what do I need to know ahead of time when dealing with or caring with a loved uh, a loved one uh, who has this uh, this illness? And the other thing, and this, I mean, this doesn't really fit into uh, the outline, but one thing I'm really curious about is um, how similar is the dementia and the Alzheimer's stuff? Like, is it a similar uh, path to get someone to have like, you know, an in-home nurse or move to a, like assisted living uh, kind of thing? So that's why that would kind of have an effect on if you have a chapter just on dementia or just on Alzheimer's. But let me kind of look at all this. And so like how do like, yeah, like oh, so much stuff. It's kind of a heavy subject here. So let me close down some stuff. And so, uh, so about like um, 
you know, like changes in health, uh, need for wheelchair, uh, like look into assisted living or in-home nurse options. Okay, and we don't want to fixate too much on one book, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit and go to and jump to a different one because we don't want to sort of look from one from one too much. So this one is talking a lot about what the uh, person is going through, right? The um, the delusions, the intimacy stuff. So maybe we'll uh, sort of combine the uh, all of this into one chapter, right? So like what's going to happen? Um, whoa, whatever happened there. All right, let me make sure that we're right aligned. And um, I mean, I guess that sort of fits into that. Man, it's a sort of a sort of a sad subject. Okay, so maybe like okay, like what what will the patient uh, be going through emotionally, and what do I need to know in order to better understand? Okay, all right. So that's, I think, the gist of that. Just like they lose, they lose language, they lose time, they lose judgment. So maybe we'll mention that. Loss of language, time, judgment. Okay. And out of curiosity, what do the reviews have to say? So, almost no bad reviews. It was not written in technical medical terms, right? So really good that we don't have to, we, we can state things in plain English. So I, I sort of like that, is that that can sort of be your hook, is that um, in plain English. And that's not part of the title, but sort of how you get the, uh, the idea there. So let me look at this caregiver's instruction. So this might be like a more how to focus, let's see. Alzheimer's so okay so like what's the um the stages of dementia and what are the types okay so Alzheimer's a type of dementia okay so see this is good information to know is um what are the types of dementia so Parkinson's Alzheimer's etc and what are the stages of dementia that I need to know about so again, I hope that you're catching on that we're not just saying types of dementia, we're actually listing it as a question that is being asked to you. So there's like Huntington's disease and stuff. So Huntington's, okay. And then, um, so let's see what the reviews had to say about that. Some good, some bad. So they didn't like that it's short, but I mean, if it has information, a short book, someone to explain, direct to the point, calm the family nerves. And so I don't know, like I'm sort of, I'm sort of a uh, kind of, I keep revisiting this idea in my head of like, what are some sort of like a, cause I saw there was like a chicken soup uh, in there somewhere and I didn't, I didn't catch if that was a like an Alzheimer's but that would be freaking amazing okay so there is one darn because I was gonna say if this didn't exist uh give Jack Canfield a tweet or something so so let me see what the chicken soup for, for Alzheimer's uh, has so they have like the mom the the mom stuff so I'm sort of looking, I'm sort of looking for that, like, what are some, like, wise words, or, like, what's, like, some, like, a bunch of little stories collected together, right? What are uh, some wise words, or, um, like, encouraging thoughts, or helpful advice, um, like, what are some uh, help, like, interesting stories, uh, advice, uh, when... Uh, from others, right, who have cared for uh, dement for those with dementia. Okay, and I have a feeling of what the reviews will be like. Okay, yeah, and even like something that comes to mind is like, um, what other resources 
uh, should I investigate in order to better deal with this problem? So if there's like a, a book, an app, a support group, a coaching pro or like a, I don't know, like a hotline, just like what else, what other things as a, as aside from the information in the book, maybe like the checklist. I'm kind of thinking like a checklist, right? So um, like what's the checklist for what's coming ahead? All right. So we have so far one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to come up with three more questions, three more ideas. So there's the lost stuff. And so, so now there are things, this is sort of interesting, right? Like things to limit or slow the dementia. So, and, and I'm assuming that there's lots of stuff like that, right? Like they can do like uh, mind puzzles and stuff like that. So what can uh, I do to uh, slow the, uh, or like, I don't even know how to describe it, right? What can I do to like battle or fight? I guess slow down uh, uh, the the I don't know this situation. I guess so. We're talking about like diet changes, um, exercise, mental exercises, physical. Not sure if that's a thing, but if that is. Then mention that, right? Like, yeah, he will fight obesity, balancing, stop taking drugs, memorization. All right. So, and then we'll even like kind of mention that, right? There is like diet changes, Mediterranean diet, memory exercises. Okay. And let's see what the reviews had to say. No bad ones. Thoroughly researched. Uh, and people like that there are, there are steps to prevent dementia, if that's possible. And um, so that's sort of where, like, the, we mentioned there was the checklist in there. So close that down, close that down. And all right, so now that we've kind of unpacked a little bit, we're going to look at the remainder of this because there's medical problems. And I think later on there was, um, yeah, the outside help and how to deal with like your marriage, your family, uh, children, teenagers. So like, yeah, like I, I think there's a need for like the, the end, right? The um, uh, what? do I need to plan for as far as death, uh, family, marriage, finances, and um, death, family, teenagers, and um, so there we go. There's the mental exercises. Uh, what causes dementia? That might be sort of interesting. So I'll just put it in a thing. What causes dementia? And maybe like, what do I do if I'm the one with dementia, right? So we can have like a chapter for uh, the dementia patient to read, or we can also have the chapter for the family members to read and stuff like that and so i think that's about it and there was like the treatments preventing nursing homes i think we had that in there right like uh um let's see nursing home we'll just simplify that language there. Okay, so we have 10 questions and we want to narrow it down to seven. So we have some good ones in here. Um, let's see, what do I do if I'm in the one? We'll just combine those two down to nine. We'll say, uh, we'll mix the what causes it into the types that way we're not 
giving them a big history lesson. So now we're down to eight. We need to merge two of them together. And how about this? We'll combine this. Well, hmm. we can combine the stories and the resources. We need the types. We need the emotional stuff. We need the checklist. So the first thing should for sure be like the test. And either, I don't know if there's a way to do a test like, like a, um, a preliminary test just by reading the book. Or if you say go to such and such kind of doctor and get such and such sort of test, uh, that would be really helpful, right? And so going through emotionally and I don't know. I think, you know, the more I look at this, I think that um, this should be more of like a bonus. OK, so what I would do is I would have the book be these first seven chapters and then at the end of the book have some sort of link for someone to uh, opt in on a web page and get just a lot of, of these stories. Like if you can even just get a couple of audios and I mean maybe there I mean I'm sure there's some sort of free ones if you don't have them but I think that'd be good for like a bonus of what the book is leading to and then the people can get sort of the the chicken soup for Alzheimer's uh, or whatever, or maybe that's your next book. So we have those seven chapters. Now I want to make sure that these are in an order that I like. So the test first, the checklist for what's coming ahead, the with the go through emotionally, what causes it. So I think we're going to put the, what causes it before the, well, we'll put it after, we'll do it a little bit out of order, right? Uh, the test for it, the checklist of what's coming, and now we can sort of step back after that and see what's behind it. We'll have to go through emotionally, maybe talk about the diet and stuff there, and then um, what if I, it's me, and then what are the other resources? And so there you go. These are the seven chapters, and then after, and then what we want uh, you to do is in our Make a Product course, speak out each one of these for eight minutes. That gives you 56 minutes of audio. That gives you about a 9,000 word book, and then you can go back and just change the titles of these back into something short, back into something that's not a question, right? Like symptoms and tests of dementia. Uh, and so what we can uh, do here is uh, say why what how to what if and we can say why um, is it important to be tested for dementia and who should be tested for it okay and we can say what is dementia what are dementia uh, and Alzheimer's exactly and um, is there a self-test I can take? Uh, like, where do I go and what sort of test do I ask for? And now I can say, what if, um, like, what if I'm at, I don't know if you can be at risk or diagnosed with dementia. Uh, what do I need to know? So sort of like a broad overview of what's coming for the next uh, chapter. And so that, that's how that research came together based on looking at the competitors. I was very surprised. I mean, I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, but there were a lot of books that are already selling very well about uh, Alzheimer's, about dementia, about being a caregiver. And I think what we saw was uh, people like the steps, people like things in plain English. So here is it in plain English. The test, the checklist for what you need to know, uh, what causes it, what that patient goes through emotionally so you can sort of get in their head and not get uh, you know angry or frustrated at them when things really get bad. Uh, how to to slow this down, what to know if you're the one who's affected, what are the other resources to look into, and then if you have any of those extra sort of chicken soup kind of stories, then I would find a way to get people from the book to getting those stories. So thanks for writing in, and those are my thoughts on uh, on that, that dementia book, Silva. I hope that helps. This is Robert Plank from makeaproduct.com. Thanks for watching, and thank you.